third. Third one that anyone who saw it there can get in nice and quickly, but I just make it pop up and disappear um, so I can make sure that I'm in there at the front. Uh, some of these rounds I, I won't play. I'll, I'll duck out and just let everybody else have fun and I'll just be like commentator. Um, but yes, are you ready? The code is there. For everyone who wishes to join the game, go. There it be. And, 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 I'm gonna sip my coffee while I wait for you to all get in. We got two, we got Tiff, Ken, you, more, Div. Well, they all came in. I got five players, we'll get more in here. We'll try and get a full room. Qui, qui. It's Quinny, I assume. Hi, Quinny. Um, Tiss at the front, I assume, is Tizzy. I could be getting these wrong. Um, <laughs> got Bree. I might be a tater, but you'll never become. <laughs> uh, I'm no commentator. We've got two more spaces for anyone who would like to join. And I will I will wait a minute. We're not going to just jump straight in there. Because um, some people might be figuring it out. Um, and other people might not know what's going on yet. <laughs> Okay. Considering the time that's gone by, we may not be getting any more players into this one. But we shall wait. I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit longer. Oh, okay. There we go. Picking me. Um, are in. Are in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Oh, we got an audience member too. Okay, uh, you can join the audience at any time. Just enter that code there, which will also be on the screen somewhere. It always changes place. Um, but yes, and the audience can vote on their favorite answers. Thank you very much for joining the audience uh, and being part of this. Five players in the audience. We're gonna see if we can keep this going a little bit more and then we'll get started. Six players in the audience. I'm absolutely loving this. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to tap the like on the screen if you're happy with everything that's going on. Um, yeah, other than that, the code is under Joey's face, not the right of it. Yes. Uh, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Right, can we, that's not going to help, is it? Like, that doesn't make it any clearer. <laughs> oh, I see. Hang on, because the box is in the way. I'm going to have to put you back over here, I'm afraid. We're going to put you there. Wait, no. Yes, I'm going to put you there. And this there. Okay. And the code you're looking for is there. <laughs> uh, you can join the audience anytime, but I think this is where we're going to go. Uh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I really, really, really want a zig zig. Uh, what is a zig zig? Is it sex? Is it, is it, is it a cigar? And they just wanted to extend it, you know? Um, who knows? That's better. Okay, right. Let's get going, shall we? Shall we? Ready? And the game begins new. One. Okay. Um, this is bracketeering. I'm setting the topic of our first devices now. Because I need to be out here. Then you could watch the longest. That's not a movie, video game, or TV show. Where are my bird watchers at? Ah. Uh, uh. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to checkbox. I've got thirty. I've got thirty seconds. I'm good. I can think. Don't panic. Thirty seconds is quite a long time. Um. You've removed all of my entertainment options, movie, video game, or TV show. Um, oh, to be fair. Yes. And also, if you put the same answer as somebody else, it will tell you. Um, so hopefully, they, unless the spelling is different. Um, but yeah. Your answers are being paired off into Here we go. Matchups. That means it's time to step up to the right. prediction table. Right, so you make bets on the I'm answer you think will win. One of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. Yes, indeed. Oh, and don't forget, if you don't think your own answer has a chance of victory, you can still grab some cash. You got 12 
We've got 12 members in the audience. Hello, audience members. Thank you very much for being here. I can't believe we've got a full stack of players. Is it how many is it? Four, eight, 12, 16. We've got 16 players. 12 in the audience. I love this. Hello, everyone. It's 28 people playing the game. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you've got to vote on the one you think deserves to win. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's tough. Look at that. Oh, the fight for the answer. <laughs> Cloud. What a good one. <laughs> I could watch the clouds change all day long, all day long. But I could also do any of those others. Next up, birds migrating and stuff. Um, oh look, the clouds are there again. <laughs> um, no, no, don't pick me. <laughs> How this works. <laughs> Banning my name being used from any game from now on. <laughs> See, I voted against me. I thought puppies would win over me. And don't, don't say I'm cuter than puppies because we know that's not true. Oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, that one. We've had some epic thunderstorms this evening. I got some amazing footage of it. And let's see, I knew someone would put Joey. Absolutely, <laughs> there had to be a Joey, didn't there? <laughs> I love this game too. We're gonna we're gonna play a few rounds of it, so don't feel like you've missed out. You'll be able to obviously join in. You can use this code here and go to that website there to join the audience and place votes if you wish to join us. <laughs> Mm. Thunderstorms! Uh, to watch oh yeah, it's still the same question. <laughs> Some early votes. I mean... <laughs> it's really I'm surprised we got two paint drying. I thought it didn't let you put the same answer twice. Um, but it obviously does. Finish. Cat playing with the tail is a, is a tough... Oh, look how close it was. It turned out to be cat playing with... Yeah, I could watch that for a while, to be fair. Like a dog chasing its tail in a circle as well. Just any animal playing with its own tail. Uh, Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Ooh, right, make your predictions on what will win. You're not voting on your favourite. You're putting in predictions for which one you think will win the vote. Make your predictions now. I don't know if the audience members make predictions too. But I'm gonna drink. Exactly. Drinks. It's weird that this is my job. Oh. I don't have to think about that decision, obviously, because I'm not gonna sit and watch myself all day. But <laughs> do, do you really have to pick Joe? <laughs> Come on now. Did one of my cats uh, one time made me dizzy watching him chase his tail. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad you managed. Uh, I'm glad you have a cat to watch chase. I'm without. I'm without roomies and dog this weekend. So you're my company. Hi. Um, that one for me. So, could watch it for eternity. If there was an eternal thunderstorm, I don't know if I'd be upset about it. <laughs> I mean, they'd have to install like lightning rods everywhere, um, but it would still be cool. <laughs> lightning scares me, but thunder is lo oh, I love it all. The lightning and the thunder. This final matchup will determine Okay. You watch the I am not better than a thunderstorm. And I don't want you to do this just to prove me wrong. This is a natural fact that Mother Nature and Thunderstorms is greater than me. <laughs> I'm sticking that vote in. <laughs> look at the look at them fight. It's a nail biter. <laughs> 
I'm not accepting it. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to be the overall winner. <laughs> Sorry whoever picked me as their name, because I've just bummed out your answer. But to be fair, it was like two, two, two answers off, which is fine. <laughs> Look at all those points. Pick out your shit. I'm not even on the leaderboard. Am I at the bottom? I'm like, uh... <laughs> and Ken didn't put an answer. No, Ken. Hi, Ken. Right. Name any song oh my god, okay. Um... Done. I just, first song that came to my head, bam. <laughs> I just let my brain start singing lyrics. I can't believe it came up with that one. I haven't thought of that song probably since it was... No, actually, that's a lie. I know why that song's in my brain now. Um, not because I've heard it recently, but because of a joke between me and Luke. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what this bracket is really about. Best song to help you get over a breakup. Oh, okay. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> These are some amazing options for this question. <laughs> Um, if at any point your jackbox isn't working, yeah, if it stops working, because sometimes this happens, refresh the page, put in the same room code and same name, and press join, and you'll join back in the game where you, where it currently is, as your person. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that wouldn't help me get through a breakup though. That would just make me more upset. Yeah, that one, because I'd just be... <laughs> I was about to say, because then I know... Well, I've picked through the fire and flames, because it looks like it's going to win. I would just be in my room like, So far away, we went for the day. <laughs> that would help me. Our <laughs> next <laughs> Just some great options here. <laughs> A real tug of war. Uh, been spending most of our lives living in a gangster's paradise. Been spending most of our lives. I picked Macarena personally, but yeah, Gangster Paradise is a good one for it. No one could have predicted this uh, one. <laughs> probably out that lot anyway. Is the best song to help you get over a break. See what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. This is why oh, we do this, folks. Yes. <laughs> I'm so good everyone went for the same answer. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, this please don't take my man. <laughs> Decisive victory! <laughs> yes, Jolene getting the right, getting the answer there. Jolene's a fantastic song. Oh. Don't wanna be an American, I die. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few seconds left to <laughs> That was a real <laughs> Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. <laughs> oh. Oh, how tough is that, Joy? <laughs> Bye, Winter Sky. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening. Bye. <laughs> uh, 
Um, after we've had day night, I will be switching to a normal live for an hour just to chat and hang out with people. Time's up at the prediction table. <laughs> Never <Let's jump> back <laughs> to the uh, I still think. Yeah, I still think that's the one. It's got so much power to it. So far away. I know Gangster's Paradise is a classic, but not to get over a breakup. <laughs> this one's looking over. Prince of Fire and Flames isn't really that. I hope you get through a breakup, but it is such a power Ran zone. Away with that one. <laughs> Look at my little rosy cheeks. Sorry, I just I hadn't noticed they got a little pressure. Just one match away from our finals. So far away. Talk about a rivalry. Uh, These I still, two competitors yeah. have been at each other's necks all week. Mm hmm Yay! It was the song that popped into my head as well. Bounce burn a monster life. Living in the games to those paradise. Minute after minute, hour after hour, second every day. I don't know. Because I gotta be down with the hood. Um, and now the final oh, face off. Oh, this what is, is this is this is a to tough choice for me. Because I love both of these. Best song for a breakup though. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I am on the edge Everyone of picking seat. the same options. Just running out the clock now. <laughs> By a landslide. Jolene is a good breakup song, apparently. Well done, Snow. Joey, hi, beautiful. Hi, Annie. Hi. Join the audience if you wish to. Uh, the website is there. The code is there. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Well done, everyone. Mine was I believe I can fly. Blind bracket. This bracket will change every. I'm gonna be around for a while. Uh, I don't plan on going anywhere for, for for a while yet. Name any candy. Name any candy. This is going to be funny because this is going to be American and English and worldwide candy. Um, let's go for that one. Cool. Triple blind bracket. So every single time the votes go through, the reason this candy is being used changes. Now, this is my favorite mode. And personally, I actually believe this is how the entire game should have been played. Just three rounds of this. <laughs> I know, I'm doing terrible. What's the code? It's down there in the top left below me. It's IQJD. It's not this one up here, which I am confusing everyone with, apparently. Um, I know what I'll do. Let's just do that. Now no one can see. What's going on? All cash this is, is Jack this round, TV. So make these choices count. The best name for a professional dancer. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Up higher. No, because you don't want to be able to see the room code. Because the room code is there. <laughs> there, IQJD. Oh no! <laughs> it's time on the prediction table. <laughs> this game is chaos, and that's why I love it. <laughs> oh, perfect straight away. <laughs> it's got it's got the word candy in it. <laughs> it just needs to be spelt with an I, and it's perfect. It needs to be spelt with a K and an I, and it's perfect. That'd be K A N D I floss, candy floss. <laughs> Milky Way or uh, <laughs> no. I hadn't thought about the repercussions of that sound. That sound, that word. Uh. <laughs> Next up, 
Alright. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely think Skittles is the best thing. I certainly wouldn't want to get a, a, like, a professional dance. Um, or, any, well, I wouldn't want to see any kind of <laughs> dance by someone called Gummy Works. That was a slaughter. Uh, spat juice everywhere. <laughs> right, what other names we got for this? I should really be reading these out like all out loud. I know people can read, but I should read them out loud. Nerds, Harry Potter, Tastic, Tootsie Roll, Andy Smarties. I think it's gonna have to be Tootsie Roll. <laughs> this sounds like the best like dance group ever. <laughs> We got candy floss, tootsie rolls, skittles. <laughs> what a tangtastic! They're fizzy, sour, gummy sweets in varying forms, from sour cherries to sour hearts to sour like um, dummies. They look like dummies. They're really, it's all really good. Um, if you cut, you should get them. <laughs> Jelly babies. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Jelly Baby. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Someone needs Swedish fish as a dragon. I I I picked Swedish fish as the winner there. I thought that was brilliant, but yes. There definitely needs to be a drag name named Swedish fish. Call this candy for an evil witch to build her child luring house out of. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to be on TikTok talking about child luring. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Lol! What's going on, Lol? Help, Lol! No! Lol, take my hand! I did uh, that one. <laughs> one, because they would certainly lure me in. And two, because I think if it rained at any point, the witch would no longer have a house made of candy floss. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the colour would run off all the skittles and she'd just have this white sugar house, but that's still more alluring than no house at all. Than Floss Puddles. The Floss Puddle sounds like the greatest name for a cocktail. <laughs> floss Puddle. Puddly Floss. <laughs> Go Skittles! This could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. <laughs> Folks, I've been for this my entire career. Yeah. Because not only are Tootsie Rolls hard wearing bricks, um, they are also delicious. And they take forever to eat. So if we are talking luring children here with candy, that's how you keep them around for a little while while you prepare the pot to cook them in. Um, <laughs> you gonna go get some sleep? Okay, go get some sleep and have a nice sleep. And uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> One more change. Best candy to swallow whole. Oh god. If your answer still makes sense. Oh god. Definitive <laughs> matchup. <laughs> That's definitely going to be easier, right? <laughs> The people voting Tootsie Roll, if, if, if you can swallow a Tootsie Roll whole, I will, I will give you $50. <laughs> Don't, because you will choke, and that will be my fault. Please do not attempt to swallow a Tootsie Roll whole. Skittles, one at a time, yes, I could swallow them. Probably with or without a glass of water, but easier with, like, just taking paracetamol. They're not like the biggest. Neosporin. Um, wait, is Neosporin a painkiller? I don't know. We don't have it over here. Neo. 
Na 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 scoring. Yes! Skittles! What? Woo! <laughs> Still no comment. I can definitely swallow a whole Tootsie Roll. No way. Definitely not. Did I win the whole thing? No, I didn't win the whole thing. <laughs> Best song to help get over a breakup was Jolene, and that was by Snow Star Luna. Well done, Snow Star Luna, for, uh, for getting, winning that one. Well, that was fun. Where's my control? Down here, because I can't do anything without it. I've got to push buttons. Uh, um, <laughs> it was so much fun. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. We will play that game again, but we're going to cycle round to it so we're not just playing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> In a big circle. Um, now, everyone who is ready, this next game is a drawing game. So I understand some people probably won't want to join because they don't like to draw, but I encourage you to join anyway because this drawing game encourages you to draw horribly. <laughs> I would like to introduce everyone to Civic Doodle. Um, we, as a group, design artwork for the local town. So we all draw a drawing, we have a time limit to do so, we vote on the best one, and then we all add to that drawing. Um, I don't actually think it's all of us drawing at the same time, it picks people. But yes, um, let's see, post game show, yeah, that's all good. Okay, let the games begin as. Begins a games. Need to sit this one out, I'm still at work and we're slammed, of course. Don't want you, uh, you know. Whoa. That's the room code. <laughs> for anyone who wishes to join this one. Hello, Pinky. Oh, and while you're waiting for people to join, you can type it, you can put in your name badge. You can do stuff in your name badge. I'm going to be very accurate, so we'll, we'll concentration face. Oh. Drawing with a touchpad is like the worst thing ever. Hello, I'm Jim, not Tim. Pinky, Aaron, Mia, hi, Tiz, Kelly. Um, in the 29 in the audience, 30 in the audience. Hello, audience. Um, it's because not many like people can play this game. It's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people can play, and the rest are boaties. Um, there'll be another game. <laughs> of something else we all get to join we're gonna play a trivia game later which will um end up getting people murdered that's which which should be interesting um the game is going to begin you can still join part way through um it should show the code i'm gonna shut up welcome to doodle valley the one city anthony bourdain still baby grumpies grumpies for dogs lady grumpies and grumpies grumpies everywhere Grumpy owns this town. Enlisted to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. The murder one is my the favorite. Is a good one. Turn all the drab, white was a very good one. Town into colorful community art projects. It's called Trivia Murder Party. Hello from the audience. That's not my name, sir. And I know just murder. A great way to end the day. I suck at trivia too, and all the questions are designed to really stump you. Already started. We invited that famous painting monkey to draw something here, but just between you and me, I think he really phoned it in. What is that? A squirt? Squirt? Go on! I'm beginning to finish it. Okay. First up is Hi and Mia. You get to add to this first, and we all get to see as they do it. Haha! <laughs> Live features of you doodling and doodle away people sure and um okay, we'll see what you come here. up with Ready? it might take a second for Still it to ready? like sync up and but ready. you doodle away on your phones and people can smash emojis um for whether the, what they think While these two are drawing, the rest of you oh oh yeah here we go <laughs> 
the drawing has begun. Oh, we got one person going for a face uh, and one person going for a flower. Oh, how the mind sees things differently. Uh, <laughs> oh, putting in another flower. We got some hair on the dude. Uh, the flowers are really nice. Um, oh, 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 we got some, we got some ground. We got to sign. Oh, he's putting on a dude cap on the guy side. Uh, truck it, truck ahead. Uh, two, one, pencils down. <laughs> Your drawing is over. Um, <laughs> ah, it's Jim, not Tim next, and Tiz, that's me. Um, so people have got to vote on their favorite. <laughs> And when everyone's voted on their favourites, it will pick that one, and we, me, me and Tiz will add to it. Okay, it should be fun. <laughs> what about the audience, though? Twenty-six votes were made. It's eighteen to the flowers. <laughs> so the flowers move on to the next round. And me and Tears are going to draw extras on it. That's right. Me and Tears are going to draw a drawy doodly thing. There we go. Here we go. I love it. Now, how about you two give it a shot? I'm so not ready. I, I, I. It's voting time. Do, do you want a rainbow or do you want a bumblebee? <laughs> it's the question everyone's asking. Do you want, do you want rainbows or bumblebees? <laughs> and then up next we got Kelly and Pinky. Kelly and Pinky doing the next stage of our lovely little drawing. <laughs> Oh, it all goes to the rainbow. <laughs> oh, I'm a bumblebee. I got beaten by a rainbow. Um, rainbows are cool. Right? Rainbows are pretty magical, let's face it. <laughs> Save the bees. Go. Go, you two. Draw. Doodle away. <laughs> Way to go, Tiz. Yeah, well done, Tizzy. <laughs> Getting a little bumblebee tattoo. I'm, yeah, definitely. A bumblebee is a great idea. Might have to get a little bumble at some point. Oh, look at a little pot of gold! Well, I assume it's a pot of gold. It's either that or an upside down hat. Look at all the grass. The grass is always greener, and there's Saturn in the sky. There's a box on the floor and a pot for the rainbow. <laughs> Wait, it looks like it has a little dog face. It doesn't, but it unless it does. But the box looks like it has a little puppy face. Is that an UFO? I thought it was Saturn. Maybe it's flying saucer. <laughs> so much easier because the touchpad on this laptop is Let's so tiny. Add in the audience. There. That's made life a little easier for me. Yes, cool. Right. If I need it, which I want. The purple name tag is me! Up next. <laughs> or a butterfly. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Go. Add to your pot. 
Tears a pot of gold And people are adding Oh, one and two flowers Oh, now it's water And that's a reflection Yeah, I got that as soon as I put the other one Because I thought dead flowers No, it wouldn't be dead flowers Right So yeah, we got water And the little flower And we got a little kitty on this A kitty cat And some, and, and some clown Some kitty cat and some clown Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to vote. That's wrong with us. Um, I like, I like this one. Make your votes on the screen. This one was really hard to pick. Let's see how that shook out. Oh, I went down the middle for the votes. Not with the audience, though. They preferred cats over water. The kitty cat it is. This is a beautiful little drawing we've all put together, guys. Think of where we started. Don't add another brush stroke. It's perfect. It is now perfect. It just needs a title. At this point, Type one it's great. Your devices. Right, now we have to suggest a title for it. I have suggested my name for it. I'm ready. Sorry, the look at my face, I totally zoned out. Talk about derealization there, I just went through. Hello, <laughs> I am here. Right, we've got to name it. Um, oh, I like that one. That's my favorite. We got Leprechaun, Pussycat's Pride Party, no title, a picture of happiness, the leopard corn, <laughs> outdoor beauty, oh yeah, after the rain, there are rainbows, and kitty rainbow, you can't guess which one's mine. It's certainly not the one I laughed at. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, that's the one I wanted, yeah, it's definitely the Pussycat's Pride Party. He's the host. Oh, look how good it looks. Damn straight. This is what I'm saying. Next Pride Party, which I missed today. I didn't even, meh. We had a Pride Party here in Ipswich. Uh, well, a Pride Party. I missed it. Uh, next time I go, I'm printing that out and putting it on a billboard. <laughs> this is gonna be my entire poster for the day. Gorgeous. I think we're really gonna nice job, artists. Pinky, hi. You get to start this one. It's drawing time. Round two. Let's go. We got a. We've got a thing. Um, at this point, I can see it as as. Right, now that people have started drawing, because they've obviously got ideas in mind, I can tell you what I can see it as. I can see it as a crown, as some scary teeth, as the top of a tulip, <laughs> as some mountains in the background, which is what I think is going on over here. Uh, oh, maybe on both. Um, I can see it as, as my brain is trying to work out what else I could see that as. <laughs> Be right back, need to find my digital pen, do it. You saw it as the start of a bat. See, like, there you go. Um, I'm like it. Uh, right, okay, cool. Kelly and Aaron, you're up next. You're going to add to this, this, these beautiful masterpieces. Well done, both of you. I love them both. Um, what, what, which one's going to win, though? Tulips. <laughs> Cheeky. Geeky Weirdo! Oh, Geeky's here! Hi, Geeky! Here we go. Good to see you. And I would never votes went for that voters. one. 30 votes from the audience, 23 over there. 25% of the vote went to High, but the winner is Pinky! Well done, High. But well done, Pinky Moore. 
Can we play this one again? It looks really fun and I want to join. Yeah, we can play this one again. Um, there are other drawing games too, like, um, actually, um, if you'd rather, there's a drawing game that we can play where we all draw and then auction off the artwork to each other. You, you have a set amount of money and you buy the artwork from other people and then it sells at the end and you see who makes the most profit. <laughs> Look at these little clouds, they're so detailed. <laughs> People are getting serious now. <laughs> I'm seeing a rain cloud. I'm not quite sure what's going on on this one over here. It looks like the, the, the left-hand mountain just shot a little bolt of water up into the sky. <laughs> Next up is Mia and Tiz. Get ready, Mia and Tiz. <laughs> it's okay, Aaron. Sometimes I have no idea what to draw either. I'm just sitting there like, huh? <clears throat> Sometimes the picture is already so complete. <laughs> I love this too, this is great. <laughs> Alright, let's see what contributions we get to the little rain cloud this time. To the little rain cloud, to the whole thing. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, some, some nice green going on. Oh, oh, something popping in on this side now. So far, it looks like a baby. No, it's a pineapple. <coughs> or a basket. <laughs> yeah, lots of green. You don't have as long as you think you do. You, I think that is, that's a picnic. Uh, I see, so we got some nice greenery and extra rain, or a picnic basket and a blanket. Everyone panics, Tiz. <laughs> it's very panicky when you're playing games. <clears throat> it's all right. Like I said, we'll just keep switching games between each round, and we'll we'll come back to them if there's time. Um, I am going to sneeze quite a few times because when I sneeze once, I sneeze loads. It's just just just, just how it works. I can feel another one. <laughs> See. <laughs> Oh, it's me. This is this is still gonna go terribly. I can feel it. Something's wrong. I can feel it. <laughs> the cat's back with more with the house. <laughs> Wait, is the cat's is the cat's name Grumby? Grum Grumby, and that's why he's all over this town. <laughs> the candy floss house for the children. In the rain, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Rack up those votes. <laughs> Oh, straight down the middle of the audience votes. Look at that. Thank you very much for voting for mine. Woo! And congratulations to the other I, I love the cat so much. So just a title for this masterpiece. Um, That's a good title. Candy Floss House with licorice kitties and stuff. <laughs> God, it's getting more and more evil. 
<laughs> Recognized your handiwork, Jerry. Oh. Okay, vote for your favorite. <laughs> Where's the cat? <laughs> That's lovely. I like all of these. <laughs> no worries, distract me all you want. You know, Joey. <laughs> That's where my mind went to. <laughs> Misty Mountains. In the quiet, Misty morning, when the moon has gone to bed. Exactly what you're responsible for. That looks nice. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like some business just turned to their kids and just went scribble on the wall. Well, that's what we want. Here's a ladder. <laughs> Kelly up the top there. Well done, Kells Bells. Where's the cat, man? What is it? You're all so talented. All right, we got one more round, then we're gonna move on to another game, probably a quiz game, and then a drawing game, and we're gonna do like rotary things like that. There are games we can't play because they require us to be together. Um, we're all drawing at the same time. Okay, go on. Grumbies are just fictional, made up for this town. There you go, we're, we're drawing a man or a person called Vincent Price Jack. Okay, let's do this. Like. Oh, I, we can draw Vincent Price Jack. I don't know who he's talking about either, but to start, let's have everyone draw just the eyes. Any eyes you want. Just course. the eyes. We're only drawing the eyes. Okay. 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 Let's do this. <laughs> no, we have to vote for it. Okay, uh, I'm looking at this. <laughs> can we play or are we just watching? Uh, you can join the audience at this point and vote for your favourite. Um... <laughs> yeah, you can join the audience and vote for your favourite uh, at this point by going to the website and joining this code here. And you can join in the next game uh, when it starts. Um, like I say, if you've played th uh, this game, please hold out to let other people join the next games. Uh, how do you join? You go to this website here, which is jackbox.tv on any device. You just go to this website and you type in this room code here and a name and it will join you in the audience. Um, or you, if you get in first, um, you can join as a player. <laughs> next. Right, okay, these guys got joined, let's go. What feature are we drawing? I didn't hear. Oh no, it says right at the top in massive letters. Wow, Joe. Oh. And <laughs> These are great. 
<laughs> oh, I'm loving all of these. Um, yes. <laughs> it's a bit nosy. First one has that anime nose. Definitely has that anime nose. Oh, the freckles are a nice touch. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> These are some seriously good noses. The the number three just looks like that. <laughs> it just looks like someone's doing the hang sign. <laughs> Oh, those freckles though, those freckles definitely got the win. Now, draw them out. Oh, we're drawing the mouth now, are we? Okay, cool. <laughs> These are so pretty at freaking mouths. <laughs> oh, I love all of them. Oh. <laughs> Number two's got that cat vibe. Got that cat feeling. <laughs> yeah. Right? Thank you for voting for my smug smile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finish off this drawing with anything you want. Go nuts with it. Finish it off with anything you want. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> <laughs> see, I don't get to see until I look up. <laughs> so desperate need of this game, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad everyone's having a good time. Um, <laughs> I'm going for that one. <laughs> see, it's all about cats. <laughs> It's all about the cats. Look at number one. Nearly 50% of the votes. Well done. Uma Thurman. I don't know what the, your name tag actually says. Uh, I forgot we were drawing Vincent Price check. I just started drawing. <laughs> oh, I should have made him like an uptight CEO, but yeah. Well done, everyone. Points are in. Uma Thurman up the top, number one. <laughs> Kelly in second, Jim not Jim, Jim not me in third. Well done, Uma Thurman. Um, <laughs> big well done from you. Where is my controller? I keep losing it. Huzzah. Oh God, I've gone really bright. Don't go really bright, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna stop. Um, because this, like, powering my camera, this, TikTok Live, streaming my Xbox, my phone gets really hot, and it has a safety feature where 
sorry, it has a safety feature where it turns the screen off and everything and won't let me unlock it until it reaches a stable temperature. Um, so if I disappear, right, that's where I've gone. My phone's gone, you are too hot. And uh, I go, thank you very much. And then go, oh, you mean you, right, okay. Um, and that's basically it from there. Uh, now I am gonna keep that nearby just in case I need that again. But I'm not gonna play the next game. No, no, no. This is gonna be a game for everybody else. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I'm merely going to host you. Host host the wonderfulness games. Um, which also reminds me, I need to download one of the other Jackbox games. Yeah, you see all my games. Do, do, well, not all my games. Most of my games. Uh, Jackbox. We also need that one. That one. I need that one. Go. Cool. That'll get there in a moment. I got that one, that one, that one. Have we got this one? This one we have. And this is the one I want. Cool. Far Cry, let's go! <laughs> Split the Rim is a blast, yeah. I do have, um, I do have Jackbox 5, uh, but it's not installed because well, I don't really play these versions unless I'm having a party. Um, and most of the games on Jackbox 5 you can't really play other rooms like you can split the room that's good um no if you really like for all those curious i've been playing city skyline recently i am going to go back i'm not going to be here forever um and i'm building a i'm building a little like village so this is it so far um and like all the roads all the trees everything you can see i put them all in and there's a little village down here that's really cute they all live in there um and that's the main intersection off, off the A road. And I've got another little village here. And <laughs> it's not here. And then we've got a, a new village being built over here, which is really, really nice. Um, this building here is a fire station, post office. Uh, we've got police here because the police need to, sorry, I'll press play. They're the garbage men, see like garbage people. Doing their, doing their daily journey to go collect all the garbage. This is um, water treatment. I had to put the water treatment plant in so we can get rid of sewage. That's a recycling center. Um, and my power is up in the hills. See, uh, hang on, there's the power station. We, we, we've gone for nuclear power. Um, and then that's just garbage and recycling incineration. <laughs> this could be nowhere, yeah, or part of nowhere. But this is how it looks at the moment from up here. Um, but I plan on like taking it all the way over here. I've got a road built in already down here. Um, and here's some of my like little roundabouts that I decorated. See, um, I swear I've got another nicely decorated one somewhere. This one. This one's all done with rocks and trees. It's all very nice. <laughs> but yeah. It's very cute. Um, you can even you can even go walking around. See, you can go for a walk around, zoom in, and take it all in in first person, which is really really cute. Where's the water? There. <laughs> all my water's here. Uh, the current water supply for the town is provided by that little water tower that I made, that I decorated oh so nicely. See. Very pretty. I put all the trees in and I put all the bushes and the stones, absolutely everything. Like you can even you can even see like where's water. You can see all my water pipes that I've programmed in and where they come in from. And like electric and the pylons that you have to put in to obviously transfer the electric to places. And they need like in the bigger town over here or the bigger little village over here, we've got a high school. So this is high school for educating my citizens, but they also have a primary school over here as well. Um, and we also have like a little church park area. I built all this little bit here like A little park area for people to go sit. There's a nice little tower for them to visit It's very cute. It's 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 very intricate and keeping everybody happy is difficult Like I say, you've got like education health care um, Postal services waste heating water and sewage electricity 
You've then got disaster prevention. Um, you've got public transport, which is all of this. So you've got ta tours, taxis, cable cars, monorails, planes, ships, trains, metros, trams, trolleys, buses. I haven't put any public transport services in so far. And then you've got parks and plazas and decorations, monuments, bigger buildings, stadiums, shopping centers, big malls, uh, specials. You've then got like designs so trees, rocks, uh, pathways, fences, um, then you've got like city parks, amusement parks, zoos and nature reserves, different types of industry like forestry, farming or oil warehouses, universities, so you can build different types of university campuses and they've just introduced airports which is recent. Um, so now you can build your own airports. Before the airports only looked like uh, Before, airports literally looked like I need to put it in somewhere. Just be random. That's how airports used to look. And that's it. That, that was the game's airports. But now you can build them yourself with as many runways and private. So, that, yeah, this is a preview of my town. So far, this, just this, is probably about 10, 15 hours. Anyway, sorry about that. I get very excited about, about my city, my city's games. But we're going to carry on. <laughs> oh, pizza party. That sounds gorgeous. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Um, we're going to play two more games. We're going to play a round of trivia murder party and a round of something else. Um, and maybe a third. Um, well, uh, after I've finished game night and I've gone and had a quick snack and stuff, because uh, I said I was going to come back to my live... I'll switch to being on live, but I'll play cities and you guys can watch me build my little village if you would like to, those who would like to stay. That part of the evening is going to be a very chill wine. It's a very relaxing game. <laughs> um, anyway, although it does get stressful when people start demanding stuff. Anyway, we're going to play the very creepy murder party. Welcome. I will take you with. Uh, the city doesn't have a name yet. It, it, the game gave it the standard name of Lakefield, but I will be renaming it to something else. So far, I don't know what. Everyone I know will want me to rename it to Nowhere, but I'm not going to rename it to Nowhere. Because if I'm going to make Nowhere, I'm going to build actual, like, how I would want Nowhere to look. Um, and for those who don't know the inside joke, on my Patreon with a load of people, we, we once made an inside joke that where do you live? Nowhere. And that then spread to nowhere being a town where we would all live together. So when we lived there, we could tell people that we don't live no that we live nowhere. And there was all sorts of other things. It should be called the City of Joy. <laughs> anyway, a murder party. Let's do this. Moods. Mods, hear that? Mute the demanders. <laughs> no, no, there aren't demanding people in my comments. There's demanding people in the city, in city skylines. Um, the, the people who live there demand certain needs while you're building the town. <laughs> I'm not telling you, it's not a secret audience. We spent time and skip the tutorials. Um, start getting the controller, allow room code hiding. The games will begin. <laughs> okay. Right. Is this open to this is open to everyone? Everybody who was in the last game, please Ah, Pickle. Also very good at catching that quick glimpse at the beginning that I do. Um, yeah, anyone who was in the last game, please give people a chance who didn't join the last, like, if you, if you played as an actual player in the last one, please give other people a chance to join, um, so everyone has a fair chance, but it is first come first served to everybody else. Okay, the room code is... And we're all in, join the audience. <clears throat> Let's see who can get in the audience. Maria, so glad to see you. No, um, Joey, Joey, 
go away. Um, I have a jewel pie. What flavor? Pie. Bees. Lexi. I thought that said llama chick. I'm a llama. <clears throat> So, all right, there'll be more games, and I'll be hosting. I think I think like hosting a regular game night will be happening soon with all the Jackbox games, um, and anything else that comes out. Another one that I will be doing with everyone at some point is something called the Complex, um, which is an actual movie. So it's shot with real people as an FMV, but you pick which way it goes and how the story goes. Um, so I will be doing that with everyone. Um, as a live feature soon, I assume it'll only be like an hour to two hours long. So, sorry to those who want to play, um, but couldn't because limits, but here we go again. I need, to, I need to see which game allows the most just players, um, because it would be nice. Yes, and the complex is sort of like a action, not act, it's a thriller. It's not horror, it's a thriller. Um, so, very interesting to see what happens with the complex. If you're in the audience, I still Welcome think you can answer the questions, rules? you just don't no, get to play the movie. We don't need no stinking rules. That's probably my favorite quote so, from the So, it's basically like being Let's in the quiz, it, but your name isn't on screen. <laughs> Alright, first question. Here we go. Ah, I took my big brother's trombone. Oh wait, I said I wasn't going to play this one. Now I can't Damn get it. Back together. Sorry, it was just habit. Any minute. You've got to help me. I'll not play the next one. What's the knob on the trombone connected to? I... Use your device to answer the question. Ah. Uh... That means you weirdos the audience, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know brass instruments. Really don't know brass instruments. And the correct answer is who got the question oh, okay. right? I got it wrong. Well done, pickle. The the rest of you, let's play a game. Tell guys. <laughs> well, we get to, the rest of us get to play a game to see if we die. It's time for a memory game. Memory game? Memorize the power. Oh god, okay. <laughs> okay, you've seen enough. Speaking of memories, I can never remember the difference between an alpaca and a llama. Llamas are smaller and have shorter ears, right? Oh wait, I think I just got that backwards. Or did I? I, I honestly don't know. See what I mean? All right, let's see how you'll do. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. I totally got that wrong. If it was the colors, I would have had it. In, I would have had it. I would have had it, but I won't. And looky, looky, here's the pattern. How close Had it. Oh. it looks like you forgot what was at stake. <sighs> you did the whole thing of grand. See, I did that with. I did it with the the colors. I was saying in my head, obviously, I had so like bugger go to the important. If you crave external validation, then yeah. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. I didn't like, and like an audience in most videos. improv shows. You're just you're not right out, there. so. Um, you can still rejoin on the character that you're in if you if the tablet pro just go back to the same code in the same name and you'll join the new character. Um, if you did die, that's fine. You can still answer and win. What's what's the question? My brain went like that. And then realized what was going on. And the correct answer is this one. Science, that's the answer. <laughs> One of you is still alive. I want to show you something. Ooh. Play by yourself on the killing floor. floor. Come on, Pickle. It's time for You'll a dice, the dice game. game. I'll go first. Nine. Hi there. Should they roll higher or lower? Oh, that person's got to pick whether they have to roll higher or lower than a nine. 
I mean, it can go, what, three, well, eight, this is gonna be a toss up. ten, two, Roll three, higher than me or you die. eighteen. So you've got nine up, but only six down. Yeah. Nice. You're fine. You're good. <laughs> I don't believe it. Good job, I guess. Don't you got this, Pepper. Well done. Wrong, <laughs> Let's take a peek at those scores. Who's feeling the pressure? Um, we're all feeling the pressure. Here's another Under one. Pressure. <laughs> Adventure time takes place in which magical land? <laughs> Adventure time, come on, grab your friend. Go to very different lands with Jake the dog and Tim the human forever. And it's adventure time. Who said this? Yeah. <laughs> the land of ooh. Prepare for your punishment. Oh, adventure time is so good though. It's Let's so play nothing. the figure cutting game. Just choose one of your fingers to cut right. off. Right, so you I'm pick sure a finger to cut off, and you can no longer pick that pick answer in question, already. even if it's the right answer. <laughs> Everyone going for the pinky. Lexi at the end of oh. You deserve an ice cream. Got two thirds. You one, but still. And then... <laughs> Oh my god, Marceline is fantastic. And the audience is doing okay. Eh? Marceline, why are you so mean? Let's try this again. I'm not playing. What famous person not actually me. has the name Zoko as their middle name? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, sorry, what famous person actually has the name Mungo? 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 <laughs> Who said this? Let's go someplace fun. Humongo Grant. Humongo Grant. I want to see you spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Uh, the letters Our don't have to touch by the way. Out of time. Uh, Ooh, let's see what you did there. Bad spelling is unacceptable. Oh, so I did redacted. Ah, uh, no, it didn't like the spelling. Anybody. What? It's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did anybody hear that? I think the squirrels are back in the attic. You... This is what it's like to be a homeowner, kids. Ooh. The audience the is doing so well. Him. Who loses the building and loan businesses money that gets George Bailey in trouble in It's a Wonderful Life? <laughs> Likely uncle name, but it's one of yeah. I know the setting, I know the movie, I know what it's about, I know what happened, but I don't know the names. So I need to figure that out. Apparently. Who picked this one? Ah, I totally got that one. Well done, Lexi, for getting that right. The rest just did not. for your punishment. Wait, am I still alive? Have I not died yet? Okay, okay, fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Okay. If you do the it's really basic math, but die. still. Let's get this math party started. Remember to show your work. I don't know what that means, but it's fun to say. It is really concentration for me too. <laughs> A tie is bad for everyone involved. <laughs> oh no, now you're a math ghost. I wouldn't call it backwards, it's just like... Super focused. <laughs> the audience is getting it done. Keep Let's another one. Let's just see. Here we go. I'm so nervous. I don't think I've ever made it this far in the game before without dying. What food is high in lycopene? In lycopene? They must have been ketchup and made horseradish and relish and more natural. I imagine horseradish has stronger flavors and stuff, so something like maybe like a peen would be in it. No, yeah, okay, I am wrong, sorry. I right, see I, I just go through logical guessing. <laughs> and I was so wrong. Oh, I don't know what a like a peen is. Like a peen everyone's help. Inside that chest oh, Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Okay, you've had long enough. Whoa, I just suddenly had the strongest sense of deja vu. I mean, Weird, right? All tingly. I mean, I've run this game before a bunch of times, but it was different than that. You're absolutely fine. And again, it could also be this ice cream that's been watching my skull for the last year. Sometimes it weirds my brain out. Hmm. Should probably do something about that. Probably should. Anyway. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. <laughs> I realized after I pressed it, I did it wrong. You're nervous now. <laughs> How's that diagram coming along? Really badly. I did horribly. Here's that art again. Yeah, Here's no. I was so close. My, my squiggly thing was one block over. New. <laughs> well done, Pickle. You Go. killed me. Say goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, everyone was supposed to memorize it, and then the people who did better kill me. You were playing with some they were shooting me with a nail gun, Pickles. Right, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that Bees is the winner. Bees is up there in first place right now. But now we get to chase them, and see if we can steal their soul and their body, and become them. Right, you tick, you, you tick all or none of the answers, but only the ones that are correct. This end part is the best. People get chased, the shadows come for you. I like it. The bees has got a good head start. Anytime today, kiddo. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Masters tournament winners. I don't know. I don't watch the masters. I know those names though, so they're the names I'm gonna go for. <laughs> Just pick the names I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with.
pickles. Countries What's going on? The Indian Peninsula. No pickles. You're gonna get chased by the shadows in a minute. I'm not gonna kill the pickles. Pickles. I'm drinking pineapple and raspberry old blue cider. Just a moment. Oh, 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 but then, to know what half they're in would require knowing where they are. And my geography is not that good. I know where Canada is. Uh, and I know where India is. I don't. They're all. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Las Vegas casinos. I'm, I, I don't think it is, but I clicked it assuming there is a Vegas. A, a Vegas? Yeah, definitely a Vegas. There's definitely a Vegas casino called the thing I think it's called. Yay, the other one's called. Mm -hmm. Where are we going next? See, I thought there would be a place to drop it. Oh no, they're all breaking away. Bees is keeping that lead though. Noble gases. Now, I know it's put farts, but surely farts. I haven't, I don't know, that one is because I thought anything was a noble gas. Yeah. So his farts trick. I unticked it because Yeah, because I thought that's for me thing. I hate it whenever it gets it right. This is the darkness of roaches. Harvard graduates. None of them. I'm going to say none of them. None of them went to Harvard. They all just failed and became actors. They're not all actors. They got that real well. Oh, look at that! Lunachick stealing the body right near the end. Destroying y'all. He's a hot. He's a hot. I think only TR. I like that. None of them. Oh, Gilly coming in to take the money right near the end here. If she can get two of these, both of her answers correct, that's an immediate win for her. She moves her. Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't. I should know what the full page is, but I, it's not information. It's not cool to back in the game. Gone, and the rest of us die. Consumed by the shadows. Well done, Lunachick. Oh, sorry, Jill. 
I forgot the Jill to go. Well done, Jill, escaping with her life and $10,314. The audience of 39 people managed to score $11,780. Nicely done. Nicely done. It was a pleasure to die with you all. It really was. It really was. Well done, well done. All of us here tonight, we're having a great time. I knew every answer. I'm so mad. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Audience rocks, audience absolutely kills it. So, we've got... I'm trying to remember Gespionage is fun. Yeah, move away. Sorry, I need to lean in so I can say... Why? I just look over here. Um... um... So yes, it's there installed, the complex. I must adopt for a moment, see you later. More drawing? We can do another drawing one. And I think that will be the last one. Of the I will put, uh, I'm gonna disappear for a little bit, have something to eat, grab another drink, and then I will go live again for anyone who wants to join. Just the one down. We're not allowed to play you because you're the evil game that got my life banned last time for making one sound, loading sounds. But it's time for a drawy doodly thingy. Good night, Looney. Have a good night's sleep, sweet dreams. I'm not going to join in this one. I'm just going to watch. I'm going to watch people's creativity come to life. <laughs> There we go, they're in. Lion Might, Snowstar Luna, Allison, Haley Pins, Ember um, Figurine. No, that's fine, People. sorry. Welcome to this top secret art auction. Usually we can't hey, you got a bit of rare trophy for having a six player game. But someone must be playing a horrible prank. Hang on, is there an audience? The six of you were invited. This or is that... <laughs> hang on, yeah. hang on. We may have to change the game if there's no audience. Because otherwise it's just going to be us sitting here. No audience. Okay. Sorry everyone who did join, but there's no audience. So give me a second to figure this out. We'll still play it. No, that's not what I want to do. Do I have any other drawing ones? I do, but I'm trying to remember what they are and where they are. Okay. Okay. No, there's no audience mode for that old game. Hang on, I know we have some more drawing ones, don't we? No. <sighs> Sorry, I know, I know. If uh, I, I do apologize, but I'd prefer if everyone can join in. So it may need to be another Civic Doodle because TKO is not that great. And Hmm. I honestly think I honestly think it'd be better to play a game that more people can join in and the drawing ones in this respect don't have that many players so we're going to load up a game of Gaspionage uh, instead um, which hopefully has an audience that should definitely have an audience Gaspionage is, is fun in my opinion and it gets everyone I will just double check here. Settings. Two to four players, family friendly, audience. That's the one. There's no, no, it can be up to a thousand people in the audience. Um, which is great. Um, no family friendly, start game from controller, allowed room for hiding, audience, and requires switch. As a play. Right. We've used these two I'm not joining surveillance this microphones one. hundreds of times. So you swallow this one. Okay. For the people who got in the last game. Right? And what about the other one? one? That one's a suppository. Or wait, is this the one you Everyone's swallow in. the other? Um. Maybe you should go see our doctor. Foolish humans. And we can get these people in the audience, everyone else in the audience. <laughs> I 
I wish there was a game where it literally just involved as many people who were in. Agent Hawthorne, if you could, act naturally and report to observation. I'm sorry, figurine. I'm sorry. Right. People are in, go. Three, two, one. This game's pretty self-explanatory once it's... Once well, I've played all the I'm not on I Twitch. I should be on days. Twitch. The only thing I left to do? To, yeah. No, no, not switch to Dr. Mario. Take all the info your government has collected on its citizens. Sorry, to play a little game Sorry, I like to call. To play. At least you have pizza. I don't have pizza. Doesn't know how to do surveillance. We just surveyed people on the internet, literally. Because um, they actually received we'll messages that like, they're like, them. why are you like spying on people? It's like, we didn't. We are joking. Is the guest pionage? I like it. Right, mm, Lion Mike, here refreshing. comes first. Your topic is juice, juice beverages, and novelty containers. What percentage of adults have drunk a Capri Sun in the past year? What percentage of adults Give it your best guess. have drunk a Capri Sun in the past year? Is realistic. You gotta be realistic about it. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? If right, everyone else playing, do you think the more, do you think it's more or less than fifteen percent? Or if you think it's more than a fifteen percent difference, you go much higher. Just one person says lower. How did the audience answer? Forty-three <laughs> percent. Oh. We're using the audience. Who said higher? Nice job. I've got some points for you. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, what have we here? Normally, so normally when Double you play this game, it uses higher. just the statistics that it has built into the game, but I guess the people okay, giving us Nice, this is really this cool. Is to okay. Vocabulary. But it uses audience answers. That's really good. I didn't know of this. People own a pair of shorts or underwear that have words displayed on the rear end. Oh, okay. So with more than five people answering, what do y'all think? Got Higher or lower? That's really cool. Right, I'm gonna leave you to just play for one second while I go grab. One of you is saying higher. Let's see the audience answer. Twenty-two percent. You weren't within thirty percent, so no points for you. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Who's next? All right, surveillance pro. What do you have for this? When faced with a bunk bed situation, what percentage of people prefer sleeping on the top bunk? Forty-eight percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Okay. Hold on. Faced with a bunk bed situation, what percentage of people prefer sleeping on the top bunk? I think pretty much everyone, don't they? Or is this a half and half situation? <laughs> what do you think? Higher or lower? Believe it. Just one person says lower. And what did the audience say? <laughs> oh, it's lower! Seven percent! Andy Lee being the only one to get that right. <laughs> Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Nice. I prefer I definitely prefer the top bunk. Next up. Absolutely. I'll bet our database has some juice. Holy gins! You've got mobile security. Smartphone users. What percentage of people do not use passcode or fingerprint locks on their phones? All right, what do you think? I think it's... I think it's well up. I think most people... I think most people use it. Running out of time. Half 
in half. And what does your audience think? Yeah. Six percent. I've seen worse guesses. Twenty-nine audience. Only six percent. Who got it right? Here's like some points. <laughs> okay, who's up next? Breathe it in. MD. Typey, typey. You are uh, autumn clothing. I like autumn clothing. My favorite kind of clothing. What percentage of women ignore the no white well, after Labor Day fashion rule? I'm sorry. It's okay. Everyone else, higher or lower? Uh, the room code is that one there. Wax G. W U X G get in there. What percentage of women ignore the no white up and Labor Day fashion rule? I would say most. In this audience, I'd say most. Let's see the audience answer. Yeah. <laughs> Look how close you were, MZ. That's gonna be a big score bonus. 2,300 points. Let's see who got it right. Smacked you right up. Well done. You did points. Uh, no points for everyone. As for you, ugh, I'm sorry. No. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. It was lower, but it wasn't much lower. Who's next? I hear you. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. Fabrication frustration. What percentage of people have in anger damaged or destroyed things they were assembling? I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh. Sixty-eight percent. Okay, higher or lower? No, but my teacher's dead. People are saying higher. And what did the audience say? 50%! Look at that, straight down the middle. That's why I said, oh, that's a hard one. You got it right. Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. The mullet. Hairstyle confessions. What percentage of people have at some point in their lives sported a mullet? What percentage of people have at some point in their lives sported a mullet? I have accidentally. <laughs> 18%. Okay, higher or lower. Easy, even. I hear you. Breathe it in. Everyone says higher except for one of you. How did the audience answer? Six percent. That's what we call in the ballpark. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up. Is that a banana in your pants or oh? oh New chatting. Oh God. What percentage of people have conducted video chats while partially or in the I'm just covering up those words. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not part of, I'm not playing. I am concentrating, sorry. I keep looking down at my hand because I burnt it and it stings. So I keep prodding the area around it because I want to itch it, but I can't itch it. I keep staring at it, giving it the prod. Giving it the prod of not allowed to itch. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. 
it's not a bad burn, it's just in an awkward place because it's right where my hand creases. You see that I got I got two little blisters that I got from that. I will, no, I've been keeping it clean and safe and healthy, don't worry. <laughs> Just hot oil spitting from the pan. <laughs> uh oh, final round time. Which is never nice. Everyone in the hot audience has hot. been scanned so we can know how they would answer this question. But I did this like two weeks what ago. Variety it's just what variety of soup rules over all others? What variety of soup rules over all others? Out of those there, I know my choice, but. Good luck! You have to pick three. Did the bacon hurt me? Yes, the bacon did hurt. Taking three answers. Right. Don't forget to use all three of your Once, picks. once everyone's used all three, I will say what I think. I don't know what egg right, drop soup is. Um, my favourite soups are hot and sour chicken noodle and tomato. Yeah, definitely chicken noodle. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. Fifteen percent went for French onion. Twenty-four on tomato, with the winner being forty-two percent on chicken noodle. Chicken noodle, chicken noodle. Let's go. I do love me a chicken noodle Who's soup, but I prefer, I prefer, I was a tomato. I'm definitely a tomato soup person, it's my favourite kind of soup. Well done, MZ up at the top there, 13,300 points, whoop whoop, and well done everyone else. And uh, well done everyone else for having a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, hang on, let me check. Yeah, yeah, I will disappear for a little bit, and then I will come back. Um, but... Thank you all very much. Hang on. Uh, while while I just jabber at everyone, I will just go here. Hang on. Because I can then stick it in cinematic mode and it will just randomly look at things. Annoyingly, sometimes it will just randomly look at empty roads. Um, but it's still nice. Um, and it has a ridiculous amount to think about and animate. Because... Original like on this game normally when you look at um, I thought looking at like the cars and the people I thought they were just sprites randomly driving around but no Every single person who lives here has a name and a house that they live at and a family And if they have kids they drive them to school each day and pick them up and they have jobs And as you put in shops people get jobs there or get jobs as firemen and policemen And so they are like that, that truck right now has a destination. It is going somewhere People go to their jobs each day and come home from them in this city that you build and because it has so much to think about that's why the graphics can't be like the most amazing thing ever but when you zoom in you see it renders and the trees look much nicer but as you zoom out and it's got to put in more detail it pops out the detail and drops the level of it um, but it's very cleverly engineered but yeah like every single car I'll show you what I mean um, hang on if we find that there's a person and pause the game and pick this person see julie cooper an educated senior who resides at the sterling residence so she lives uh there in this lovely little house here um if i go back to julie cooper um she's unemployed and she's currently going home um this one here this person here this is aspen blackwell uh, is there a cemetery? Yes, that is the cemetery. Um, hearse is, uh, when people die, they actually go in here and is, as it gets fuller and fuller, see that how many people are here. I love that it says deceased stored. That's terrible. Um, but yeah, as it gets more and more full, there are more and more gravestones appear and people have lifespans. They're born here and they grow up here and go to the different schools. Um, and I think, because you've got, every time you start a new game, if you look in the bottom left, there's the date every time you start a new game it starts from today's date um and i think every person in the game 
Um, I think they have an average lifespan of 70 years. Uh, the game is called Cities Skyline, but to get it to this point, you need to buy all the DLC as well. So if you're going to play it, it is definitely an investment because this and all the DLC that gives you everything from sort of like here onwards, plus a load of additional stuff inside these that really make the game worth playing. You're probably, but I mean, I've been playing it for like 10 years. <laughs> I love this game. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the people. And yes, someone said, uh, is the time... No, time is very much quicker because obviously you speed it up and slow it down as you need to. Um, but yes, someone said, can you name people? Uh, yes, you absolutely can. You can give people, you can rename anybody. So... Um, yeah, I mean, like, this is one of my much smaller town... Hang on. Let's uh, say, like that, that one. This is only my console. This is my Xbox version. But if I loaded up my PS4 version, um, the game has been around ages. It has. It's been around forever. Um, but it's grown, like, seven years ago. Even five years ago. Four years ago, this game was nothing, really. It needed a lot of work. Um, but yeah, so this is that but i and then so i've only got two villages um i've only got two cities on my xbox whereas on my playstation i've got like 15 20 that i've built and made um so yeah this is one of my bigger cities so this gets much much bigger and you actually start getting big apartment complexes and like it gets it gets much bigger here and things get a bit crazier <laughs> like in terms of like what you have to keep track of and everything so <laughs> like a lot of these buildings look really random but a lot of them have purpose um, and then like building in intersections like because it's a city like I have a proper spaghetti junction if I speed time up you can see it working properly so, and this is like industry, so this is all the horrible polluty factories that obviously get their stuff done to... No, it doesn't collapse. Time doesn't pass when you're not on it. <laughs> Time only plays when you're playing. Um, but yeah, so like you've got this little sort of suburban outside town moving inwards to some forestry that blends into the industrial district. This goes to the smaller towns, like the more, the bigger built, but still small density towns around the outside that then flow into the main city. Um, but yeah, it's all built, like, it's, they're rather cool. Like having a nice park in the middle of the city. And this is just green buildings. Like these aren't even some of the tallest buildings you get in the game. Like these these are still small in comparison. So but yeah, like cities can get pretty big. And this one's still a work in progress. Like I'm still building in this bit over here. But this is a big like block style city, you know, like everything is built in big square rectangular long blocks um and that sort of shape so i love watching busy intersections they make me so happy <laughs> and nervous but that's like full speed that's normal speed oh come on please car but yeah literally everyone who lives here has a has a place to be and a place to go and a job to do who's this what are they up to hang on I want to know who you are and what you're doing. Who are you? Who are you? Edward Lee on a scooter is a tourist going home, driving to... Oh, he's a tourist, and he's driving to the best sweat gym. Who are you? Mary Smithson uh, works, is a clerk at the All Things Superstore, resides at the middle residence, driving to the basketball court. Okay, where's the basketball court? Oh, not far. Okay, she's, she's nearly there. But yeah, um, so that's my big city, but I'm currently working on my little village town, which is much prettier. Good for him going to the gym on vacation. I agree. 
I agree. He's on vacation, still getting his help. What do residents ask you for to do? So the residents just require, they just want to be kept happy. Um, by the way, there's a lot more to this than I've already explained. Like, you've got your economy, so these are the taxes that you charge, like, their residents, their commercial, that's industry and offices. You've got budgets for everything, so you can work out your day and nighttime budgets for each service. Um, you've then got loans and, like, profit. Um, so this allows you to keep track on what you're spending, but I have unlimited money at the moment because I'm, I, I, I've played it so much with like earning money and doing it properly. And now I just play it creatively. Um, it's a very, very intricate Sim City, very intricate Sim City. Like you don't even like these little houses, you don't put them in yourself. Um, I love how it works. Let me show you. So down in the very bottom right hand corner of the game screen you see that very long green bar and that smaller blue bar the green bar represent the bars represent demand green represents demand for new residential homes because people want to move in blue represents demand for shops because people want to go shopping and the very bottom bar is orange or yellow and it represents the industrial or office need um, other needs people might want is fire services, so fire engines, uh, postal services, which is what that is. They need police stations, they need uh, at least basic education, so primary school and high school. Um, but they, you can also do like college and university, so you've got like high schools, uh, different universities, public libraries, community schools, creative art institutes. Um, but as long as they're getting a basic education they're fine they like i say they need police and fire services um you can do public transport but they never demand it that's up to you so currently i have no public transport there's no bus services no nothing but that's because it's not big enough to require that i feel like i've played this hard for a day see i thought that i thought like i when i first looked at it i downloaded it thinking oh nice little city builder and then the more that it chucked at me i was like oh my god i'm never gonna keep track of all this but really and genuine farms yeah you can do farms um i'm actually waiting to build a farm here in between the two towns this could be a nice little farm nestled in here which we will build in a moment um livestock yeah you do all that so you can rear cattle pigs lambs um, and all of that then you can build factories that process them into meats um, and it's the same with ore and oil so you can mine ore mine oil then you can use factories to turn it into glass usable fuels um, you can also do fishing so for example if I bring this info view up and show you fishing you can set up fishing industries so boats go up and down the rivers and the colors represent what we have so here i have salmon shellfish and mainly anchovies and salmon and then you can set up fish markets in town for the fishermen to then send their goods to and sell the yes you can build a zoo i have that one here see like there's a zoo so then with the zoo you can put in like all the side gates plazas cafes and then inside the zoo you've got moose and reindeer birds antelopes bisons insects amphibians and reptiles flamingos elephants sea life enclosures giraffes yes you can do theme parks as well so you can do like game booths and carousels piggy trains and teacups swinging boats houses of horrors bumper cars and drop towers pendulums and ferris wheels and roller coasters you've got nature reserves and camping sites you've got city parks filled with chess sets and fountains and small little cafes you've got industrial sections that can do forestry and farming and ore and oil and storage and then you've got like plastic factories and toy factories printing Paintings and lemonade, electronics and clothing, petroleum and soft paper, cars and food and sneakers and modular houses, shipyards, and then you can build different types of universities. You've got all the different universities here as well that you can build that all have their different buildings and houses and drama clubs and liberal outdoor studies and, and track and field stadiums and baseball parks. And then you can build airports. Did you also know that you have transport as well? Look, you can do buses and trolley buses, trams and trains, monorails, speedy trains, slow trains underground see that you can do undergrounds as well this tiny little underground that goes in here and then you've got a million and one different train stations that you can put in as well like if you've got a road like that you've got something that you can build on like this one over here you can then begin to start hang on where the hell is my buildable road and then you can start to put in these really nice pretty train stations
decorations that seem to sit everywhere like this and they all look fucking gorgeous and they sit above the ground and then you have these nice little platforms and people get on the trains and get off the trains and go off and you can set up the stops it's up to you to design where the trips and everything goes and then there's blimps there's taxi services <laughs> Cities is my favorite game of all time. I love the intricate detail and I love the the fun and the experimentation. There's there's I love it. I love it so much. It's, it is something I will always be passionate about um, as a hobby. Like um, and yet you like I don't have it turned on. But you can even turn on natural disasters. So you have thunderstorms and earthquakes meteor strikes and tsunamis if you live near the water and you can build defenses to protect yourself from them and bunkers underground and services to like work out when they're going to hit you what is this game it's called city skyline city skylines um i've got it with all the dlc i literally don't have a single piece of dlc missing because i would invest all the money in the world in this game i really would because um, it's truly well designed and truly well programmed. Yeah, thunderstorms, proper thunderstorms, and they hit the trees, and then the trees catch fire, and the fire spreads, and you have to get the fire services out there. Um, it's pretty insane. Like when you have um, earthquakes, the buildings fall down, and you have to send out the destruction recovery services, who actually send out the emergency helicopters to dig through the rubble and find bodies and live people and take them to the hospital um yes yeah you can actually control the weather like they're all here i can i can naturally perform any of the horrible natural but you can control its strength you can go for a really small thunderstorm all the way up to it's going to set fire and destroy everything um even sinkholes which is pretty mean they have restaurants they do have restaurants here yes not that you can build yourself they grow in naturally but like you get little shops like this that take the piss out of real shops you've got state city robot solutions custom teas there's a bookstore uh pop soda something about waffles ice cream shop <laughs> mm. sinkholes are terrifying but yes Anywho, um, I am going to disappear and go eat, and then I will come back to my cities and actually build it with you for a little while. I am going to go get something to eat, yes. So, without further ado, we'll leave this here, and um, yes, I'll go eat. Okay, I'll speak to you all soon. I will be back live in maybe half an hour. 40 minutes for those who are still awake and want to be there please come join me for those who don't don't that's okay <laughs> um go get some sleep have some fun thank you for being here i've enjoyed it with you all uh and bye bye and see you again soon <laughs> i don't know how to uh stop my life from this point though i pressed that button there probably what did that do i don't know anymore i don't hang on this is not working apparently highlight recorded what highlight what did i do i'm i've broken the phone don't know where my live off button is oh thank you so much for the stego and the duckies <laughs> all right i found it now okay i'm gonna go I'll see you all soon, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.